All right, hey guys, I found out by reviewer. I actually have another video. Just want to say this really, really fast. Sorry, I'm trying to like not lose time here. I'm on four point uh, two point one on my iPad. I have another video about how to remove keys that I was gonna post before this, but I spent like all day today and didn't even edit the video or anything. Spent all day because I knew you could do it. I just had to find the file, and I found it for Windows and Mac. I found actually the Windows before the Mac, so. It was easier, and I just typed this up really, really fast about where to download the firmware, um, the Red Snow Beta 4, the um, the Mac versions in here, the Windows versions in here. They're both exactly the same. I'm doing it on an iPad. All devices are supported, except, like, first, anything that runs this firmware. I'll just say it, supported, obviously. But um, these are the Untethered, the 3G, 3GS Old Boot ROM, and the uh, 2G second generation non MC model. And now I'll show you how to see if it's a non MC model. And this, I actually found out the iPad is an MC model, which is, I never knew that. I just never actually actually checked. But um, you check on your model, and then you go across, and instead of saying MC, it'll say like MB, I believe. That's the model that's not like tethered. Tethered is where whenever you restart it, you have to rerun the program we're about to use, which is Red Snow. Uh, Yes, red snow, wow. And, um, it's a very simple thing. I think my white balance is off. It's just, sorry, it's bothering me. Um, but I'm going to show you how to jailbreak everything on, uh, the new thing. So you got to just go into Browse, once you open it up, and find your restore for your iPod. I'm using my iPad. And, uh, just double-click it, and it'll be processing firmware. And uh, make sure it is the right version. Beta 4 is the one that works with the new 4.2. And uh, IPS, IPSW successfully identified. Clicked next. And then it will say patching uh, processing kernel. My bad. Processing jailbreak data. It's, it's the exact same thing for Windows as it is on Mac. It's just you have to be on the thing. Now... Install Cydia. That's what I'm gonna do right now. It's what I need to do the first time. So what everyone needs to do. Well, sorry. Everyone needs to do the first time. Install custom bundle. Don't worry about that. If I we ever need to use that, you find out from another person's videos or someone. Just make sure like they you understand what they're doing and you watch the whole video before they do it in case they happen to screw up their phone or anything and something doesn't work and they post it in the comments or make sure, read the comments and everything like their comments in the description. Just boot tethered right now is how you boot tethered once sorry once you restart your say iPad say my iPad has to reboot for some reason say I install Winterboard which I'm not going to do and it has to reboot that would be the way how you do that you install you um, just boot tethered right now so installing Cydia is the only thing I need to do and that will do the jailbreak so I hit next and then it will say it has to be both plugged in and powered off. So now I'm going to shut down my iPad. I'm going to try to tilt the thing so you guys can see what's going on on my screen up there. Try to zoom in. It, the steps for this are very simple. It's on the screen. It'll appear up here. You have to hold down the power button for, what is it, th three seconds. Power and home button, which is the... Just reposition the iPad. Power and home button for 10 seconds, and then the whole the home button, I believe, for like 15 or something. It tells you on the screen. It'll start changing once it gets there. So then I just like to get ready. So hit next and have your finger on this button at the same time. And then it will say doing the 3 seconds. And then when it gets to that, do the 10 seconds. It counts down for you. So you don't actually have to count, because I know some people, when in their videos, they do count. It's a good thing for anyone who's using this. But if you have any problems, the best thing to do is go restore after it and do a, cr a fresh restore. And now it is says exploiting with Lime Rain. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going past and I'll probably read it. Now, as you can see, it goes white on my screen. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And then downloading jailbreak data, there's nothing wrong with that. That's completely fine. And then it says, you have just jailbroken applied the, um, you have just applied jailbroken the 
firmware. I don't feel like reading it. It's just numbers. Um, you need to rerun Red Snow and boot Tethered. And yeah, this device is currently tethered, which means in order to make a jailbreak programs, to make use of any jailbreak programs, you must use just tethered boot, boot right now. And as I'm reading this on my screen, you if you're doing it with me, or with the video, you will see a bunch of things go up, like text scrolling up and down the screen. It depends whatever way it's going. Mine was going this way. I don't know if yours is going that way. It's going to go this way. It's... It's okay, don't worry. Now the only, now this is perfectly fine also. Now the only devices that are gonna have a difference on the, that one screen where it said install Cydia, because well, they'll have a couple extra things, you can check them, they're okay, just like custom backgrounds is for um, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, the, the ones that don't have like the, all the native the things on it, like the iPhone 4, iPod for uh, fourth generation. Those are all gonna have the native stuff on it, so it's gonna be okay if you. It's not gonna get any of those things. And I seem I've done it already on my iPad, and it seems to me that the iPad just boots up fine by itself. Like I haven't had to reinstall anything. Um, like doing the the just. To boot now thing. The only time I actually had to reinstall my firmware was getting off my old one. See, I didn't even have to do it. You might have to do it on yours, but I didn't. So, um, Cydia currently, it's a little, needs to be patched for the iPad. There is some ways, but this is how you, how you do it on any other device. I'm just showing you on this because it's the only device I have. Now, it works on every device, but Cydia needs to be patched. And that's basically, that's basically it. It's, um, Cydia just has, has some bug in it right now. Because it's not meant for this device yet. It has to be updated, which there'll be an update out soon. It, this works on all devices, so be careful what you do when you're doing this. And, um, that's pretty much it. The firmware you can download on there. Make sure you're downloading your right firmware. Um, I don't really have much else to say. Any Anything you have, any comments, any questions or anything, I kind of just skipped over was talking about because I feel like I was talking about something that just moved over because something else came up but um any other things you guys questions or anything just leave comments below and uh i'll get back to them as soon as i can and i uh, just want to show you the multitasking on here works you still have this thing i don't like that at all but um the multitasking works apps load like i can now load this up to show you again under about that I'm still on 4.2.1 and uh, that's pretty much it uh, leave a comment below if you have any need anything or you just want to say hi or something whatever um, this will all be in the description so you don't get to see it or anything now and uh, just rate comment and subscribe guys alright uh, that's pretty much it um, when there is a jailbreak that does when the jailbreak does fix the city a problem because there is ways, I just don't feel like having to do it. I kind of wish I didn't install Cydia. But, um, I, I just wanted to show that all we need now is for Cydia. There are ways to fix it. I tried them earlier. Didn't really work for me. Like, it worked, but it was complicated and it would be too long for a video. I'd probably make a good, like, 20-minute video. There are ways. You could just Google them if you have a Cydia problem. If you have pro other problems with it that, um, just kind of... So far, it happened with this jailbreak. That didn't happen before. Just reinstall your operating system. Try it again. The OS 4.2. Reinstall that. Try it again. If it still doesn't work, then I suggest waiting for the actual, like, official jailbreak with Cydia working to come out. Because currently, Cydia needs to be patched, and it's kind of annoying. Other than that, just uh, leave a comment below. Rate, comment, and subscribe.